Sir, is there anyone else in here? Is there anyone else in here, sir? It's an accident, a horrible accident. I know, sir. But we should consider the event's consequences. Wait, you, you said there were no charges. Yeah, I mean, maybe some civil cases from other tenants in the building, but nothing nothing criminal. The report says arson. The report also says that Thomas is not a suspect. But he could have died? Two people did die. Your brother will need to recover physically and mentally. The care was so beautiful. And the baby. <laughs> There will be consequences that will affect his well-being once his memory is set up. What, what do you mean? Guilt, grief, and responsibility. Sometimes they're guilty as guilt. What is this? A possible solution for Thomas' future. Is this safe? Perfectly. So you see, it's a simple procedure. I present to you the first human application of the Envision implant. Any questions? What will control the visual images of the subject? Subconscious need, desire, and emotion. They're intertwined with the reality of the physical world, enhancing his experience. It is based on dream research then? Like awakened dream, secondary, to reality. With medicine and ongoing counseling, we'll be able to steer the patient towards content. His memories? The worst are removed through a chemically induced amnesia. He'll create new and less painful ones. This is theoretical though, right? Thanks to Mr. Shepard, theory becomes practice. He will show the world the true value of envision. Around and around we go. Where we'll stop? Nobody knows. Come on, Iris. Don't tell me you're getting old on me already, old man. No, I just have to work. You don't have to work. Why don't I have time for this? What if we're stuck in here forever and we could only look at each other through the glass? Okay. But never touch. But we're not. Yeah, but what if we were? I don't know. It'd be a terrible waste. Why? I don't have time for this. Tell me, why would it be a waste? Because I don't like to browse. It would be torture. A waste. You think looking at me for an eternity would be torture? I mean, yeah, if we couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in your head. Touch isn't. Yeah, well, you could always touch yourself. And I could... Mm -mm. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Masturbation lacks the element of surprise. Oh, come on, come on. I, I gotta go. I... Okay, kiss me. Then you could go. I was, I was, I was, people are watching. Exactly. Don't disappoint them. There, there. Can, can we go? Can we go? Come on. Come on. If you really, really want to. This ain't even fair. You're so cute. This, this ain't right. This... Well, look, we definitely got some bills to pay. I, I seriously got to go. Look at you, my little sellout. Always so responsible. Now, what would I do without you? Only you would think earning a living is selling out.
Man, this guy again? Man, what is he doing now? Man, it look like he's blocking the doorway and talking to himself. Oh, where, where you going? To clear the doorway. So his memories are returning? No, but he has been a bit strange, though. He has conversations with people that only he can see. He doesn't seem happy. Perhaps there's a subconscious need to connect with his wife and child. I mean, these last couple of years have been real, real rough on this stuff. Shouldn't we be concentrating on Thomas as well? Well, that's why we're here. We had our firm draw up these papers for you. We want the procedure reversed. It's worked perfectly. He's living a full life. He spends too much time in his own world. Yeah, he, he's living a lie. Perhaps the truth is worse. This is not working. Well, the legal order's been served, and come on, baby. She's still in defib. Damn it. Come on, Iris. Give us some help here, huh? Nothing. This, we, this, this isn't happening. I'm sorry. No. No. She's not dead! Sir, where are you going? You shouldn't be alone right now. You know, I just wish that we could have met her. You know? Yeah. Jack, you would have loved her. She was so funny. Now, how are you really doing anyways? Like, if you, you know, if you need anything, you know, we, we got you, okay? Yeah, well, I think I'm fine. Thanks, so. though. Hey, Jack, you, uh, you tell him yet? Not now, tell Larry. Me, tell me what? Not, Not now. now than when. What? Not now. Look like you'll be your uncle, buddy. Jesus, Larry, really? What? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, you, you really pregnant. See? I mean, my, my brother's going through so much right now. Do you really think that he wants to hear our good news? Uh, no, 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 no. No, I'm sorry, man. I forgot about that. No, Larry. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I, I think it's pretty cool, and I'm really happy for you guys. Really? Jack, yes. You're going to be a great mother. See, I told you he'd be happy for us. Mm. Oh, shut up, Larry. You know you can be so insensitive sometimes. Okay, um... Actually, thank y'all for the coffee. I've actually got somewhere to be. Now, see, I now he's leaving, Larry. See? No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. I, I really have somewhere to go. Yeah, see? You got somewhere to be. You can't blame everything on me. Okay, but we really need to have a conversation later, okay? Jeez. All right, but can we do it later? Okay, are you really okay? Yeah, it'll be all good, but whatever. I'm really happy for you guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you later, all right? Okay. All right. I'll see you, all right? Okay. All right, man. All right. See you, Tom. All right, Leah. Love you. All right, Jack. You are such an idiot. You are such an idiot. You know what? You, you know my brother. He's he's a mess when right now. When has your brother not been a mess? Oh, you get on my nerves. Yeah. She still didn't get no eggs. Yep, sleeping on the couch tonight.
don't know. Do you? Only if you want her to. Look, um, I don't want to be rude, but... But there's always a way around death. Really? Because it looks like you may be wrong. But it's not too late for you. She doesn't have to be gone. I don't want your car or your advice. But you need them both, Thomas. How do you know my name? And have you had any other hallucinations recently? Mm, no. Can you see the old woman right now? No. Do you think I'm going crazy, Dr. Keller? Well, under the circumstances, I think what you experienced is a perfectly normal reaction to the loss of somebody special. You said that this old woman said... She said she didn't have to be gone. She knew my name. Right. Well, what that tells me is subconsciously, you're still in the denial stage. Searching for hope or some strand of iris to cling to. Well, I mean, I miss her. Of course you do. But the mind is a very powerful, very mysterious place, and you need to be careful not to lose touch with reality. Iris is gone, Thomas, and I think you need to let her be gone in order for you to move forward in a healthy fashion. Yeah, I know. Acceptance is our goal here. That's what I can offer. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> oh, bam, it's closed. Tom? Tom Shepard? Whoa, it's kid. You look, you look great. Thanks. You look busy. Good morning, Thomas. You can go right in. How do you know my name? Everything will be explained to you right after the analysis. Analysis? Hmm. 
Welcome, Thomas Shepard. Please step forward carefully. Hello? Who is this? Please carefully step forward. Thomas Shepard, 30 year old male. Current account active for two years, three months, and 14 days. Credit approved. Searching hard drive. What is this? What is this place? Current status of Iris Moon, terminated by Thomas Shepard. No, no, that's, that's not true, that, that's not right. Hey, what is this place? Screw this. Please remain calm, please remain tranquil. It's good to see you, Mr. Shepard. I came here for some answers. Mr. Shepard, I think it's very important for you to know under the terms of our agreement that we usually don't reach out to clients in such a manner. But these are extraordinary circumstances. Your previous agreement is null and void. Null and void? What the hell is this? This is your contract. I've never been here before! No. My life has been nothing but positive since I went to Envision. I was depressed and couldn't deal with life. And then I contacted Envision and my whole life changed. Everything I ever wanted is an imagination away. I get all the best parts of my life every single day. Mr. Shepard, what we do is provide a state of conscious delusion. Conscious what? Can, can, you, can you speak some English? Okay, okay, okay. Fundamentally, it involves you opening your imagination to the point where fantasy and reality can coexist. You have one job in reality, but in your mind you have your dream job. You can invent your perfect life partner, create opportunities and your experiences. We allow you to customize your life, guaranteeing success, happiness, and joy. This is crazy. This, this, this isn't even possible. This, well, um, unfortunately, due to legal reasons, your experience has come to an end. Exper what? what experience are you talking about? Can, can you stop talking okay. in cold okay. and start clarifying some things for me? Okay. Would you rather be happy or aware? Happy or aware? What do you mean aware exactly? Let me ask you a question. What is it that you think you do for a living? Um, I'm a writer. I'm working on a novel. Really? Really? Okay. It's all right, Tom. I'm not out there. Or in here. I'm in here. So, what do you want to have with the salmon? Hmm. I don't know. What's it say? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna make a little salad. We could do like mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts or asparagus or mashed potatoes or something. Mm. Let's do the sprouts with some masala. <laughs> okay. Rather oh. ever good, babe. Oh, let's go.
open the shit. How you open it? Excuse me, sir. You can't smoke in here. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can't drink that either. And how do I even know if you're real? You ever thought about that? Huh? Thank you. Whoa, whoa, fellas, fellas. Whoa, whoa, whoa fellas. I'm just trying to get my... Y'all gonna let them do me like this? Hold up, fellas. Whoa, 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 fellas. Come on, man. Y'all gonna let them do me like that? No, I just want my beverage. I just want my beverages. I just want my beverages. This ain't enough for you, pal? Man, come, let go of me. I just want my beverages. That, is that too much to ask? Man, come. You know what? Get off me. Get on me. Get on my head. Get on. You know what? You two are nothing. Without me, you wouldn't even exist. Relation, I just want my drink, man. No. Let go of me. Tom, time to go, man. Nice digs, huh? I feel like crap. Yeah, I know, man. Let's go, man. I hate seeing you in here like this. Maybe this is where I belong. Why would you say that? I think I've done some pretty messed up things. And I can't even fully remember. Yeah, I mean, you were drunk. You trashed the liquor store. Not cool, but I mean, it's definitely not, you know, no, no, anything. No, 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 not last night, Larry. Over the last few years. Yeah, Tom, listen. And then I get a I, visit from a doctor from the Vision Medical Project. What? Having these horrible, painful flashes of memories. And well, I, I don't, I don't even know it's real anymore. What was the doctor's name? False. Doctor False. Yes, bitch. But like a. What? You know her? She, she's yeah. real? Yeah, I know her. Let's go, man. Let's let's get out of here. What's going on, Larry? I'm not sure, but uh, I'm going to check on a few things, and we're going to figure this out, all right? But for now, get yourself cleaned up. I bought your shirt, man. All right? Larry. Uh, I got used to smoke. Uh, I don't know what I am, honestly. I'm just... I'm out of who's this, this Dr. Foss? I'm thinking she's part of this whole fuzzy dream reality thing I've been experiencing lately. Yeah, you know, like, with these horrible feelings and these like I, like these, I said, these man. flashbacks. And she's talking about she's here to help me. I'm gonna look into it for you. I got you. All right, man. Like whatever, man. But you know, I you thank okay? you, Larry. Yeah. I, I don't know, but thank you, man. Like thank you for coming down here. But don't don't tell Jackie about this. Like, nah, don't worry. Being pregnant, you know. It's just, yeah. Don't worry about that. Are you gonna be okay? I don't know. I don't know. I, I really just need to take a walk, clear my head, just just sort some things out. Hey, but if you need to talk. All right, man. All right. Yeah. I'm out, man. Huh? Mr. Campbell, good, good morning. Yeah, what the hell happened to you, man? <sighs> I, I have to myself lately, man. Look, no worries. I just need them free uh, will edits on the desk by five. Can you pull that out for me? The book, man. The one we've been working on for six months. Oh, that's the book I'm editing now. <laughs> you kidding, man? You crazy, Tom? Man, a rough time, man. Yeah, I can see. Man, you smell like a frat house, brother. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Look, man, I've been letting a lot of this weird behavior slide because you do good work. I do. I do. Yeah. I mean, when you show up. Yeah. 
look, man, pull yourself together. For appearances, all right? I will. I will. I am. I am. Look, man. We all have our issues. Appearances. All right? Appearances, Tom. Huh? Molly's so pretty with her freckles today. Oh, and we had toast with jam, and we played hide and seek. <laughs> Pete! Yeah, really? Can you feel it? Can you feel the heat?
How was court? It was fine. It was fine. What are you doing? Dr. Foss contacted Thomas. The fuck? She did? That's what he said. We did serve her that order. Yeah. I mean, which means it's not right, but it's not illegal. Mm. Weird. Yeah, it is yes, weird. Yes, but um, not, not illegal. Yeah. Why was all this stuff in Thomas's office upstairs in the attic? Hmm. This is strange. I don't know. Hmm. You think that he was working on this before the fires? Yeah, apparently so. Hmm. What are you thinking? I don't know yet. Hmm. Julie, Julie Newell? Yes. Someone will be with you shortly. Thank you. Good luck to Keith. Thank you. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm not your competition or anything. I'm not, I'm not here for the interview. Oh, that's such a relief. Tell me about it. I'm in no shape for an interview. long enough so they wouldn't think we were together. Okay, thanks. What can I get you? Oh, I have a coffee, please. Sir? What she said? Coffee. All right, then. So, how you doing? I mean, your kid looks great, but you look... Thanks. He's my world. Yeah. Well, um, I've been drinking mostly. A lot. Pretty much all the time. Tom, you're not, um, homeless, are you? Honestly, I mean, I really don't know. I haven't checked. I had a small little campfire in my bathroom a couple nights ago, but... Yeah. Oh my God, Tom! It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Who was she? She... She was... She was everything I imagined, like... She was, she was the one, if, if you believe in that sort of thing. Like, yeah. She was so funny. You know, we were even talking about having kids and wow, I am uh, such a lunatic, you know that? Why is that? It's, we couldn't, we couldn't even have kids, but I mean, that's a long story, yeah, whatever. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Okay. If you could choose between being truly happy and being aware, what would you choose? What do you mean, Tom? What do you mean 
being aware. Okay, like, what if you could, what if you could trick yourself into believing something like, um, you know, but never mind. This, this is a stupid question. Um, never mind. Uh, no, no. How you been? How you been? No, uh, it's not stupid. Ask me. Yeah. Well, all right. What if you could be truly happy? Mm hmm. But in order to do so, you would have to live in some sort of dream reality, la la land. This is so silly. It's, it's not silly. I would choose to be aware. You'd rather be miserable in reality for the rest of your life rather than being happy in La La Land? I'm a mom now. I have Carter. I have to be conscious. I can't live in a dreamland. Besides, reality is what you make it. You don't have to be miserable. Right, I mean, I guess that makes sense. You're talking about the drinking, right? Sure. The drinking. Yeah. You know they have programs for that. Tom, I know you don't want to hear this, and it's hard, but you can't drink this away. Sooner or later, you're going to have to deal with it. And you're not going to be miserable forever. Trust me. I promise. What happened between us to keep? Time, life, you know. No. What happened between us, you, me, why, why didn't we work? And uh, I honestly can't remember why we broke up. I don't know. There you go, sir. Gonna get you anything else? Sir? Listen, why don't we get out of here? We'll go to the park and then you can come by the house and wait with me for Carter. Um, to he is, it's a, it's a bit too soon for, for me. Uh, boy, stop. All I was talking about was getting some warm food in oh, your belly. Oh, why? Right. Why? I'm so sorry. That sounds great. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. L let's not make this any more awkward than it already is. Come. You got your PJs on, babe? Yes, Mom. All right, that time in 10 minutes. Yes, mommy. You can't drink in here around my kid, Tom. This is what I came here for. I'm a mess, but I'm not a scumbag. I'm sorry, it's just that I promised after Tyler that I would never have a drunk in here around Carter again. Well, listen, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't have to stay here. I, I can go home. No, no, you need a friend right now. And I want Carter to meet my old friend, Tom, after I clean you up a bit. What? You, you don't like the beer? Gee, I was going for the rugged look. Not working. All right, but look, all jokes aside, are you you comfortable with me staying here? It's kind of random. Random's what we do. You know, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. <sighs> Thanks. You are a, a dear friend. Night, mister. Boy, 
watching, big guy. Tom and Jerry. Oh, those guys are my favorite. Really? Yeah. Me too. Good morning. Hey, uh, good morning. Tom, Tom and Jerry's on. I put some shaving cream in the bathroom for you, and there's a bag of clothes by the closet, stuff I've been meaning to get rid of, but help yourself to whatever you like. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Uh, wait a minute. Um, both of us just come out of heavy situations, and I don't want either of us to get the wrong idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. Things you can't happen. live here. Uh, I'm sorry. It came out harsh. I didn't mean it like that. No, it's okay. I was planning on going home today anyway. I feel like such an idiot. Nah, you're not an idiot. You're just a good mother. You don't have to leave today. You could... Nah, I gotta, I gotta go back home and check on some of these damages. Besides, I was thinking about what you said earlier, and I think, I think you're right. About what? I want to try being aware for a while. What's this? Just feels good to be right about something. It's amazing, you know? You have so many little people crammed into this tiny little spot on the planet trying to connect with everything except each other. <laughs> What's wrong with us, Doc? People are scared. Scared of what? We're all just people. Mm -hmm. Scared of not getting what they desire, what they desperately seek. Love, self-fulfillment, meaning. Oh, and, and, and what's this? Was this, this is somehow was supposed to fix everyone's problem? No, it's not for everyone. But I simply wanted to provide an option when there wasn't one. An alternative to a life of grief and despair, sadness. Um. I have been having a rough time. Yeah. So, we're going to extend your contract? No. Um, I'm, I'm done. With, I don't, I don't, mm, and, I'm, and I'm done drinking, too. Now I see why you've been having a rough time. Huh? Drinking is one thing. The dextromethorphan, that's Dextra Dextra what? DXM. It's a hallucinogen. It makes the envision process vivid, unpredictable. I think you should take a few days and... Nah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just take a few days without the drinking and the DXL. Let me know what you think, then. Well, you ought to go. Have something for you. Take these, and it'll subdue the effects and give you a glimpse into the real world. I want you to make the right decision in the right frame of mind. I'll see you in a couple of days, Doc. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jack, check this out. Listen, listen. Um, um, can you please put some clothes on? Please. My brother's going to be here any minute. It's your brother. It's not the Dalai Lama. Just listen. Come on, so, Larry. Larry. I can smell your sour ass from over here. Like, okay, that's nasty. Shower last night. It's a Give new me day. Just it's a new day. What up, what up, what up, what up, y'all? Yeah. Hey. Did you late for a dice game? Sour ass. No. Really? Oh, really, Larry? Really? Really? <sighs> Look, this pregnancy that gave your sister a bloodhound nose. Yep, and I can smell hey, Jack, it. Hey, Jackie, you smell yep. the future? Yep, and it smells like sour ass. You're right. Yep, oh, sure shit. can. Anyway, how's oh. work going? Work is horrible. I have a really horrible Wait a minute. job. Actually. Horrible? Yeah. I thought you loved your job. So did I, but I don't. I'm actually looking for something new today. Okay, but just know that we still need to have a talk. Sure, but what about the? That uh, mm. we need we 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 need to wait legal stuff. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa, whoa, whoa. Is is this serious? What what legal stuff? Not nah, well. Sort of, yeah. 
like we, we just need to sort out a couple of things and uh you know then we can go from there just wait a couple of days all right so tom check this out you you appreciate this so you know how they got you know nowadays they got all these different things for lonely people to meet up with each other they got uh speed dating they got online dating Mm -hmm. uh, you know, real loser stuff. Date nights, you know, all that bullshit. Um, Larry, you starting to worry me, man. Like, this is the second time you said we needed to talk about what's really going on, but you're not really saying nothing. So, it, it, well, what's this about? This is about the arrest, the mm -hmm. doctor? No, it's not about the arrest. I, I, well, we will talk. Um, just trust me. Just trust me, Tom. Give me a little bit more time. You know me a lot of years, so you know I got you. Yeah. Right? So, Tom, check this out. Listen to this. Living in the city breeds of people that are in dire need of human connection. For all those souls whose year, who yearn for a little human interaction, we have the solution. All right, what I'm about to say next is probably ridiculous. Most ridiculous thing you ever heard, all right? Yeah. All right. This new thing is called, yeah, y'all ready? Mm. It's called cuddle parties. What the hell is a cuddle party? Cuddle party. What is that? Well, apparently it's a party where you cuddle, they cuddle at the party. You made it up. I shit you not. Check it out. Whatever, man. Cuddle party. Where are you really showing up, man? What'd I tell you? Um, it's in the thing. I want everyone here to know that this is a very safe environment, okay? Everyone here is here for the same basic reasons. So we need to feel like we can trust each other before we start our journey. That's why you guys are gonna hold hands. Now, some ground rules. This is not about sex, people. So no touching each other's delicates, please. <laughs> accidents are accidents, and that's fine. But let's just be respectful so we can all share in a powerful experience. Now, let's start by stating some personal boundaries. I just don't want any dry humping, okay? I just don't want a massage from someone's crotch. Okay. I think that falls under the no sexual behavior category. Somewhere. Okay. But last week, this really lonely guy was dry humping me, and it made me a little uncomfortable. Okay. I understand that. Thank you. And don't rub my ass for more than five seconds at a time. I don't like that either. Okay, then. Anyone else? What, what are you doing back there? Um, massaging you. It feels like I'm being examined. Thomas, why don't you try to put more emotions in your fingertips? Let's truly connect here. Let the love pour from you until we're just laying in a big pool of love together. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. Um, I'll try. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Wait, wait, why did you stop? I'm sorry, um, this, this, this is too weird for me. I, I, I can't, I, I can't do this. Thomas, but don't you want to truly connect with someone? Don't you want to be loved? Yeah, we can love you. We can all 
love you together. Oh no 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 no, ma'am no 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 not like this 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 isn't real this this I can't I can't I you're just a bunch of waitresses smiling at me while you take my order. Sir, can I help you? Um, I was here to see some friends. This is not a safe place. You should move along. Okay, but, uh, what's, what, what, what's going on? A fire, it would seem. Come on. Was anyone hurt? A woman and her child died. Oh my God. Sir, sir. It was a couple of I, years ago. I was just here. Relax. I hate this neighborhood. <sighs> Sir, are you okay? This is it. So sorry, Tom. We never thought you would do this to yourself. Just relax and rest. Promise we won't let this happen again. Promise. You can't help her, Thomas. This is the past. You can't help him either. What's done is done. Hey, sweetie, how was your day? Great. I finished. That's great. This could be my big break. That's the Envision Company story, yes, right? Yes, yes, and you wouldn't believe what this company was doing to get the FDA to sign off. Did you think of a title? <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go with in prison. Mm. What? I thought I thought it was funny. No. <coughs> Are you getting sick? <coughs> just a little cold, baby. That's, no. that's all. Just a you little. need to take some medicine. There's some <coughs> cough syrup in the cabinet. <coughs> all right, and I'm gonna go check on Carter, and then we'll celebrate. Cool, cool, cool. Right. <coughs> Ooh, those fancy glasses. <laughs> Sir, is there anyone else in here? Baby, get the stuck. Sir, sir, is there anyone else in here? Make you stop. Sir, is there anyone else in here? Let's get you out of here. Right, we should have trusted you. I'm so sorry. You did it for stop us fast. Smell polish needed. Seriously. He's waking up. You! No, Tom! Tom! Relax! No! She's no, trying to help! She's no, trying to help! No, it's no, okay. I, relax. No, I, I, relax. I remember. No. Tom, she's no, trying to help. No, 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 no. Shh. 
I, I remember. Time to take a crazy pill. Funny, Iris. Fine. More for me. We get out today. Can't wait. How's the head? Focused. So, Doc, how's that guy doing? Thomas seems to be coping, and as far as Dr. Faust goes, she no longer has direct contact with him. Why not? Thomas has strong negative feelings towards the doctor. He blames her for his situation. There were a few incidents, but he's calm now. He's talking to Iris. His dead girlfriend? She is not dead. She was never alive. She was an illusion. Well, are you sure that Thomas is going to be all right when he leaves? The delusions manifest themselves physically, a result of the implant, but psychologically he is in perfect health, except for an unknown amount of memory loss. He has an imaginary friend? He is not on any medication. He is not diagnosed with a disorder. We couldn't keep him here even if we wanted to. Okay, so will he hurt himself again or anyone else? <sighs> Mrs. Sullivan, he is perfectly safe to himself and others. His attempt to hurt himself was just him processing this new reality. Now that he's come to terms with it, he's fine. Even Dr. Foss? Just keep that bitch away from my brother, Dr. Keller. That's something we're going to have to manage together, Mrs. Sullivan. All right, Doc. We'll be by to pick him up tomorrow afternoon. Released already. We don't even know what he remembers. No, I'll handle it. No police. Hey, Larry, man, he looks just like you. Yeah, I was, I was kind of hoping he would get my brains and Jackie's looks, but Larry, I'm driving here. Tom, are you alright? Like really? I'm fine. You know, I had some time. To think about some things and sort them out. I'll be fine, Jack. Uh, you're gonna have to stay with us for a while. Why? Because I can take care of myself. So. Oh, we know you can, but you need to, you know, to be someplace that's really safe. I mean, we got plenty of room. Well, I don't want to be a burden on you two or anything. Nah, we got plenty of room, Tom. Well, you got evicted while you were in there. Yeah, all your things are, we have all your stuff. All right, well, um, thanks, guys. Oh, your friend can come, too. Harry! What? Is she back there? How about you keep your eyes on the road, Dad? I got you, got you. I'm, I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry. That's cool. That's cool. But, um, I'll meet up with her later. Seriously? Yeah. Maybe we should bring back a rose for old Agnes. It's, it's like her life didn't mean anything to me. Well, not entirely meaningless. What do you mean? <laughs> you really are crazy, aren't you? Survival. Don't you remember? You've seen Agnes before? What do you mean? You really are crazy, aren't you? Certifiable. Don't you remember? You've seen Agnes before. I can't remember. I, it's like a like a blank space. And you're not making this no easier. Thomas, I can only show you what you want to see.
Thomas, what are you doing here? Honestly, Doc, I came here to break your office, but I'm glad you're here. And uh, I see you've done most of my work for me. Thomas, leave it alone. Tell me about it. It was the implant. What? No, you have no idea what you're getting involved with, Thomas. Okay. Dr. Keller, Brenda, I need your help. Do you have any idea of what it's like to not know if your life is real or some imaginary world made up by your subconscious? To love someone with every fiber of your being only to find out they don't even exist. Everything I believed in, everything I love, everything that makes me who I am is gone or never existed. Do you even care how that makes me feel? How many lives been ruined? How many people have you and Foss killed? Do you think I wanted this to happen? Do you think I meant for Agnes to die? She was my sister. What? She was my sister. I only wanted to help her. Agnes was the only survivor of a car accident with her husband and her child. I just wanted to create a better life for her. If you were the implant that killed her, why am I still alive? You're supposed to be dead. You, you should be dead. I want to die. I want the pain to go away. You took everything away from me. Even peace. I tried to get her to stop. I was too afraid to go to the police and she wanted me to keep silent. She used it against me. How much longer do I have left off? We don't even know why you're still here. <sighs> Nothing has changed since Agnes's death. You could expire at any time. There were no warning signs with my sister. Okay. Okay, Dr. Kelly. Well, before I expire, understand one thing. You and Faust will pay for what you've done. Iris, what are you doing here? I came to help, Tom. There's no use, Iris. I don't have much time left. I know. It's the implant. You knew this whole time and didn't tell me? I'm so sorry, Tom. Remember, I can only show you what you want to see. Well, Foster's going to pay. The article I was writing will see its way to the local news station. I gotta find that envelope. What do you remember about the last time you had it? Practically nothing. A little cough syrup. Not gonna kill me. Look, check this out. Look, 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 look. Look, this out. Non-drowsy. I'm okay. Mm, right. Did you find the glasses? Yeah, I did find the glasses. Mm. Oh, so you move. Shh. Just pour.
yourself together, Tom. Imaginary, ring a bell. Oh. <sighs> Come on, let's go find that envelope. I'm so sorry, Thomas. The good Dr. Keller managed to come to grips with her own guilt. I've got to go to the authorities. It was quite the breakthrough. <laughs> You're late. I can't believe you let this chick get the jump on you. A little help, please. She's a little old woman. That's embarrassing. I see the impact. Things could work out. Not good, Tom. You killed her? Oh, did our dear doctor tell you about your wife? My wife? Yeah. It was actually unfortunate, unnecessary, unattended. I mean, like, unintended, seriously. And, um, oof. Agnes Blair. Oh, on the contrary. Miss Bly was a triumph in psychiatric medicine, a product of scientific development. And you, sir, are the evolution of that science. Don't move. <laughs> it is because of you that we were able to move forward with ambition. It is because of you that I figured out the cause for Miss Fly's untimely death. And it is also because of you. You get the credit. <laughs> that she's kind of like the modern day scientific hero. <laughs> the human trials you were so bent on stopping through your little research articles were made possible because of you. And that call for Sir, you unwittingly started drinking. You see, it contained a missing chemical to our equation. You see, the dextromethorphan that's contained in the cough syrup. You see, it, it stopped the envision implant from overloading your synapses. The overload of synapses is what caused Miss Bly's death. Her neurotransmitters stopped functioning, and all of her natural functions ceased. Good boy. You surviving the first fire was a convenient mistake. That won't happen again. I said get out! Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you trying to burn down the house, Mom? <laughs> I'll show you the fire. <laughs> That's really not necessary. That's really not necessary. You mean, Mama? No, not exactly. Get out! Thomas, Thomas, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Sorry, sorry. I got an article rewriting. No, no. No, no. Wait, oh, it's okay. Mama, it's, I it's promise okay. I won't. It's I won't okay. play with fire it's no more. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, no. 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 No, Thomas! So, uh, Lynn. Y'all gonna give a little guy a name, or, or what's up? Well... Let's think about naming him Lil Larry. Oh, hell no! <laughs> nope, nope. We wanna name him after someone who's really special. Hey! Nope. I mean, we were really thinking about naming him after someone special. Who? No, 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 not, not me. No. No. No, no, but we were thinking of naming him Carter. Carter. Only if you cool with it, though. I mean, oh, 
Come here, you know. What you think, big guy? <laughs> Looks like a car to me. Yeah. I said we gotta win. Carter? Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You're leaving? Yeah, I've got some work to do, Jay. Wait a minute. You're leaving? Yeah, I've got some work to do. Uh, yeah, you got fired the same day you got evicted. Larry! Uh, it's all good. Larry, I appreciate the support and all, but this research has sparked something in me. So, perhaps I'm not unemployed. I like to say I'm freelancing. All right. All right. Well, where are you going? You give me weak in the knees like S-W-V, I'll be right here. Forever I'm your lady, let's go half on a baby, our Kelly and Joe to say. J jump on it, genuine, let me ride that pony, you got that butter love. Me.
Thank you.